Hello guys, this is Tom from Kudusol.com again. Today I brought two Chelsea boots to compare and tell you guys which one I prefer. I mean, I like both of them, obviously, but I'm going to tell you which one I like better and which one I like least in terms of their comfort or anything else that I want to talk about these two Chelsea boots. For anyone who was wondering, I don't know if anyone was actually wondering that I was away for a while, it's because I had a lot of work and I had an exam. I am still uh, kind of I'm working and studying at the same time, trying to be uh, an accountant. I had a lot of work and studying at the same time, so I didn't really have time to um, shoot a film videos and edit videos because uh, I had just too much to do work and study. Anyway, that's all done so I can film and then start editing again. So I will go ahead and tell you guys more about these. So these are two Chelsea boots that I have. So on the left is from Loke and on the right is from Trickers. Loke is kind of in the mid-range, uh, lower mid-range for the as, as in price-wise and Trickers is on the higher range for in terms of their price. They are both from the UK and from Northampton and they both have a very long history and rich history in terms of shoemaking and well basically making great boots and shoes so right off the trickers chelsea boots henry is higher than local chelsea boots chatworth um i prefer i sometimes i prefer higher chelsea boots compared to the lower one this is not as low i've seen chelsea boots that goes as low as your probably your ankle area um, I don't know if you actually call them chassis boots, but I have seen some boots with really, really low ankle um, shaft, I would say. I guess it's called shaft or body uh, um, of the shoes. Um, but yeah, Henry is very high and it gives you that kind of a look that doesn't show your socks. Um, sometimes uh, if you wear some kind of jeans, uh, if you roll up like I do, you can see socks, but with Henry, it's it's very secure it feels very secure on your ankle and doesn't show socks both of these boots have two pull tabs at the front and the back for me this is very important because it makes it so much easier for me to put on the chelsea boots and off so chelsea boots because it doesn't have any laces it's naturally more tight around here and here because uh, there's no securing system so the elastic bands is very very tight and then you gotta sometimes force your feet inside the boots in order to put them on and these really really help a lot um, there are boots without the pull tabs at the front that makes it a bit harder to put on sometimes it's not always but sometimes so you can just gotta pull at the back but with these on here like this I can just put my feet and then drag it up and I'll just go in smoothly I have never seen any chassis boots without the pull tab because uh, I think it's impossible to actually put them on without the pull tab but probably in the uh, very old time when the first Chelsea boots were made they probably didn't have pretty good pull tabs but back then people really didn't take their shoes off did they so they're both made of black leather look chat works this one is made with calf leather they don't really specify what kind of leather they use um, or which tannery it's from but uh, they both are black and I think this one is calf as they say on the website and this one is actually Olivia leather uh, that the trigger is actually made with German tannery and they are more environmentally friendly in a way because they tan the product with olive byproduct because the byproduct of olive gets thrown away but the tannery actually made um, somehow managed to tan the leather with olive byproduct and the leather is very very smooth and there, there isn't any break-in period with the leather and yet it looks and feels very sturdy. The Trickers Henry has commando soles and the Loke one, Loke Chat, Chatsworth, have dynite soles. The soles difference is obviously I, perf I like both uh, dynite and commando soles. They're both the same in my opinion but Commando soles will last longer compared to Dynex soles, so I'll probably resell these in 
10 years <laughs> with my ro rotation, current rotation going on. And Chad Wars doesn't have any broguing, but Henry is actually a brogue Chelsea boots with their own unique pattern. As you can see, this is used in all of Tricker's shoes and boots with brogues, wingtip brogues actually. If there's, I think their semi brogues have different brogue patterns than this, but yeah, this is wingtip brogues and this isn't this is just smooth um it's not one panel like rm williams actually yeah rm williams looks very similar to these as well if i compare the last they're both very very voluminous but it's you can probably see that henry is bigger and wider compared to loke um the welt itself is very very thick on henry as well um it goes out very very far and it's storm welted on Loke, it doesn't the weld doesn't stick out too much and it's just Goodyear welted and it's 270 degrees Goodyear welted all around. It gives you more of a slicker kind of look, while Henry gives more chunkier and, and, and bigger kind of look. Depending on what I want to wear and and, and how I want to look on that day, I, I decide on which shoes I pick. But these Look, chats worth. You can probably wear these with suits as well if you really want to. But you can't probably wear suits with these, and it's gonna look pretty weird. Um, and it's not very business friendly. They actually say on Trekkers website that this is their country range, uh, but this is not their country range. So yeah, that's the difference. Trekkers Henry actually uses four 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 last, uh, which is a very voluminous last. So. I recommend you to go half a size down than your normal size. Look, Chatsworth use Jockery last, and you can probably go half a size down on this one as well. I will try to post more detailed review of Henry. However, I will wear them a bit more in order to get to know the boots better. It's summer now, so it's pretty hot. So I think it'll be by the winter time that I'll be able to wear these again or autumn and give you more detailed review of these boots. For Loke, I already made a video about this Chatsworth and how I feel about them, and you guys probably know. The elastic band on Chatsworth is weaved. You can see it's weaved, but this is not weaved, but it's also very thick. They're both thick, and I don't think this will uh, stretch out. Like, if you remember Loke Mitchum, uh, they had terrible, terrible elastic bands but Loke Chetsworths have better elastic bands and, and, and I don't think these will ever, you know, be loose or look that ugly. I'll, I'll, show, I'll try to show you a, a quick photo of how they turned out to be after a few years of wear. But I do hear that uh, you can change the elastic bands on the side, so it's not a big problem. You can change it if they started to look ugly. In terms of popularity, uh, everyone knows what Trickers is in usually in the um, social media or any forums. However, people do not really know about Loke because uh, they don't do marketing very well. They don't really go out and post a lot of sales or um, you know go into your face in terms of their marketing style. But Loke is also a very good quality shoes compared to Trickers. So I'm not saying the Trickers quality is bad, but in terms of their price, this is 255 pounds, uh, but this is almost 500 pounds. It's twice as different. So it's your choice of what you want to buy, and it depends on your you know pocket situation. Uh, you might think that 500 pounds is still cheap for a pair of boots, or you might think that 250 is still too expensive for a pair of boots. But these both are a very good quality. And I will say if you are willing to buy something uh, that's more economical and you know pocket friendly, I would say go for Loke. Uh, they still provide really good customer service and uh, I'm sure that the quality will, this will last for a very long time, probably same time, similar time as Trickers in terms of their longevity. Uh, but if you are more into, you know, taking photos of your shoes like me, get triggers, <laughs> uh, 
and if if uh, if you think that it's worth 500 pounds they usually go on sales too sometimes but i, I rarely see these uh, Chelsea boots, handmade Chelsea boots on sale. But if if you think that these are worth five hundred pounds, go for it. Or wait for sale, go for it. So uh, they're both really good. I would say they're both worth their money in terms. There, it's in different ways. Personally, I had good experience with Trickers so far, and I've seen their refurbishment videos. I haven't sent any refurbishment to them, but I've seen their refurbishment videos online and. Um, I'm pretty sure I can keep this until I can give it to my grandchildren as well. There was a quick comparison of, of, of two British made chassis boots. They're both my favorite and I do wear them a lot. If you follow my Instagram, I do wear both of them a lot. Um, recently I didn't really take photos uh, because as I explained at the beginning of the video, I didn't have time or um, energy to, to do that. But yeah, they're both really good. I would say go for both of them if you are confused if your pocket allows that is but yeah anyway guys thank you for watching the video i'll come back i'll try to make a lot more videos from now uh, which is june till end of august because i have more free time and i just i almost quit my work again because i'm i'm trying to prepare to go back to the uk so i have more free time i'll try to make more videos if you want to watch uh, more detailed review of Henry uh, let me know and if you want to if you want me to compare any other uh, boots or shoes please write on the description or sorry write on the comment section and I will show you which one I prefer and the main difference of the both boots hope you liked the video thank you for watching please like and subscribe to the channel I'll be back thank you